so uh, good evening everyone we are in the last session of this uh, event a very very important event and this is the most uh, interesting and uh, powerful session here uh, we are uh, having this uh, topic the public sector enterprises catalyzing india's self reliant economic growth and uh, we have here uh, various uh, organizations who are here from uh, various uh, sectors of the uh, psus and uh, diverse range of people uh, uh, here on the stage so i will uh, first of all request each of the speakers to uh, first of all briefly uh, into, uh, introduce themselves and uh, then we will start the panel discussion brief for uh, two to uh, three line introduction please good afternoon i am moshmi dekha i am from oil india limited oil india limited is the second largest national enp company of india i am heading enterprise resource planning department of the organization thank you uh, we have our speaker mosmi deka who is the chief general manager enterprise resource planning at chodi oil india limited and uh, uh, she is uh, leading the it implementation in oil india and i think her immense experience uh, will be of here of uh, value to all of us thank you so much ravi ji and thank you uttarakhand government and elet for inviting me to speak a few words and with the eminent speaker here now speaking about my organization oil india limited is the second largest national enp company of india its main business is the exploration of hydrocarbon and finding the producing of the crude oil and natural gas that is the main aim however if we see the digital technology introduction in the various industries and we find that enp companies are the early adopter of digital technology for finding out for the discovery of hydrocarbon we need to carry out lot of geoscientific calculations those are very complex calculations and because of that the digital technology evolved in this sector in the very early age in 1970s in our organization we have implemented digital technology in the form of seismic data interpretation in 1977 speaking about the activities of our organization there are a lot of activities associated with this business the main aim is to accrue the hydrocarbon reserve and produce hydrocarbon in the form of crude oil and natural gas for discovery of hydrocarbon we need to carry out gng activities that is the seismic data acquisition processing interpretation depending on these gng studies the drilling location is identified successful drilling results in discovery and detailed study of the reservoir field of the discovery field the location is coming to the production and after that the surface infrastructure are laid to bring the produce from the field to the destination this is in brief about our enp activities so the activities associated with this business can be categorized as two way core activities that is the gng drilling production and transportation and which needs very complicated systems those are the complicated geoscientific application drilling package production package so that we are having scatter systems are in place virtual reality centers are there we are having categorized as a non core category non core activities for our hr then finance materials management engineering group and those are being facilitated by our erp system as well as the home ground solution we are going ahead with the paperless drive e office implemented document management systems and here i would like to mention that we are from the very northeast part of india in 1889 when oil was discovered from that time we are there in the picture and however we are having pan india presence and a global presence in nine countries 
So in nutshell, we are having this presence. Now, as I've said from 1977 beginning, the digital technology induction is happening in the organizations in various ways. And uh, in the 2018, when, when the digital transformation wave came, so our organization also embarked upon its digital transformation journey. We took help from consultant, which worked in very close relationship with our multidisciplinary team, and lot of brainstorming sessions, then meetings, etc., happened. And to know the as is status, the pain areas, and which were compared with the global best practices, and the gap identified, and that way our digital roadmap is created. Lot of digital initiatives were identified, and we are in the process of implementation of 11 such initiatives, which are like AI, ML, IoT, then data analytics, etc. One is the CXO dashboard. In the name of the pun, we have implemented this data lake in Microsoft Azure, and whereby the decision making will be easier. We recently implemented drone technology and for our pipeline monitoring. As I said, we are originating from the Northeast region and our operational area is there in the very remote part of Arunachal Pradesh to very remote part of Rajasthan also. So that day our ice city is very strong. We are having LAN, WAN, then VZ connectivity, radio connectivity, that way. And coming to the 11 initiatives, those are under implementation. One important is the Veeam solution, vendor information system, that is the full transparency to the vendor management, which went live. And other are uh, the CBM, that condition-based maintenance, and where we have incorporated IoT and for preventive maintenance of the equipment. RTOC, that real-time operation center for drilling is going to implement, and it is for the monitoring of our drilling activities. That way, another initiative is RTPM, real-time production monitoring, which will facilitate uh, real-time monitoring of crude oil and natural gas. So these are the initiatives we are presently implemented, and uh, that's all from my side. Thank you.